this question is just asking for the main idea, so let's not get too bogged down in anything. Let's just go right in here and try to use dumb summaries to understand what they're saying. Uh, culinary anthropologist, whatever her, her name is, uh, may be known for her decades of work in national public television and radio, but her book, This Thing, is likely her most influential project. Um, okay, in most influential is the book. The 1970 book, whose title refers to Smart Grosner's roots in the low country of South Carolina, was unusual for its time. It can unusual for its time. It combined memoir recipes, travel writing, and social commentary, and challenged notions about conventions of food and cooking. So it combined a bunch of things and uh, challenged um, conventions. Uh, long admired by many, the book and its author have shaped contemporary approaches to writing about cuisine. So it has it has an influence. So this is basically my dumb summary of this: is it's an important book. And there's lots of reasons it's important. Maybe some of them will matter here, but let's not get carried away. Let's look what the choices give us. So this person's unconventional book uh, is an important contribution to food writing. <laughs> I mean, now look, they add some more specific ideas that I'd want to make sure I check, right? Unconventional is definitely a strong word. Um, they do say that it's unusual for its time and it challenged conventions. So we have that evidence. So even though that's a strong word, we have evidence of it. I bet this is the answer because even the other part just is important, the word important, right? That's a very general word. We have evidence of that as well, but that also nicely matches with our dumb summary. So let's look at the others. Uh, Smart Grosner held many different positions over her life, including reporter and food writer. Well, th this is true, but that's not the main idea, right? It's not about her per se. It's about her book. Um, her groundbreaking book, uh, uh, didn't receive the praise it deserved. No, 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 no. They're saying it's great. So this is all very positive. This is a negative choice. No way. Uh, Smart Grosner was a talented chef whose work inspired many people to start cooking for themselves. Okay, this I can see being tempting. Notice how much more specific this is, though, about the praise, right? So A is saying it's an important book. D is saying specifically why it's important. So that, that's not great. We really want to be more general if possible. So just using SAT strategy here, A is the better the better bet, the better guess, because it's more vague. But let's see if we can prove D wrong. Uh, she was a talented chef. Um, well, she's, she's a reporter. She's known for her decades in television and radio. Uh, it's a book. It combines recipes, um, food and cooking. I mean, it doesn't really say that she's a talented chef. I mean, it says she does other things. So, you know, anyone can publish a recipe. It doesn't mean she's not a good cook, but she's not a chef. She's a reporter. So I don't know about this part. Whose work inspired many people to start cooking for themselves. The book and its author have shaped contemporary approaches to writing about cuisine, well, this is different, right? To, to say that it's influential is one thing. To say that it's influential because it made people cook for themselves is different. That's very specific, and I don't see evidence of that here. It's saying it, uh, it it's helped other people who write about cooking, who write about cuisine, but it has nothing to do with people cooking for themselves. So this is, yeah, this is wrong in a couple different ways. It's getting very specific about what her, uh, she's famous for. It's getting very specific about what the book is it did. And so those specific ideas really need to be proven. And here there's some there's some vague connections, but it's they're getting way too specific here. A is definitely the better answer. And notice that it matched my dumb summary. Like I didn't look at that choice before I came up with that summary. And that's the benefit of the dumb summary. Right? You don't want excess detail because a lot of the times the right answer is more general anyway. Plus, you don't want to waste your brain power and your time finding the details that you think matter because they might not be the same details that the SAT thinks matter, right? So you have to just be general at first, and then if other things come into play, the answer choices will, will hand them to you, and then you can go look for those details better, right? You don't need to understand every detail. Be more general, and then be smart only if you need to.